Good morning, grandkids. <laughs> Every time I start my vlog anymore, it uh, reverts down to a little picture and I have to click it back up again. I don't know if it does that when you're watching or if it's just on my screen. Anyway, good morning, grandkids. And um, I really don't have a whole lot to talk about today, but it's been a long time since I made a vlog and uh, I just wanted to connect with all of you. Uh, after my last video of Kinsley when the game kept crashing all the time, uh, some of my commenters said, you sounded like you was tired or uh, are you sick, Grandma? <laughs> No, I wasn't tired or sick. It's just that I was so frustrated with that crashing all the time. Uh, it was frustration, not tiredness or sickness. And my son fixed it, so now it's working okay. He's very good at taking care of my computer. <laughs> I feel very sorry sometimes for the time he spends on that. Um, I have a few pieces of mail and uh, I'm not actually going to read them, but I'm going to mention everybody. And uh, there's various reasons for not reading different ones. And uh, then I want to talk about some video series. So let's do this mail first. Let's set this out here in front of me so it's easier to get to. This particular one is from someone named Taylor, and, and the, the last name starts with an N, but I can't read it. And uh, they signed it, Maddie, or Maddie, it's M-A-Y-D-E-E. -E. So, uh, I liked your letter very much, and it's, and it's, uh, written so nicely, but uh, I'm not going to read these today. I feel, I feel like so many of these are to me, and I kind of like to keep them that way. So if you don't mind, I won't be reading these today, but thank you so much. This one is from uh, Maggie Stevens. Oh, uh, she she was in uh, I, I don't even know I can't read that either <laughs> uh, this one is from Megan Stevens thank you so much for your letter uh, it is a little hard for me to read I wish everybody could type their letters, so I'm not going to be reading that one, but I did read it for myself, and I thank you very much, Maggie. This one is from Cody Hubbard. Uh, they're right here in Lebanon. I mean, no, that's me. It's... Pensacola, Florida. You know, I lived in Pensacola, Florida long, long, long time ago for a few months. Very long time ago. I think it was before, before I ever uh, got married and started having my children. And thank you, Cody, for your letter. I appreciated it very much. This one is from Emily Walpole. This one was <laughs> neatly printed, but I decided I wasn't going to read this one either. I'm going to keep this one for myself. This is She lives in Charlottesville, Virginia. Thank you, Emily, very much.
this one this one is from Angel Hair <laughs> and the spelling of hair is H-A-R-E and I wonder if your parents <laughs> named you Angel just so it would be Angel Hair <laughs> I thought that was kind of amusing she lives in Oneida, Tennessee and I'm not going to read this one because she sent there's there's little uh, drawings in here from a couple of her children and uh, I want to keep them for me too and they wrote on each one which is very not very legible and so I'm not going to even try to get through it <laughs> but it's so sweet and each one uh, signed their own picture So it's from Angel, Melissa, and RJ. So I thank you very much. And you kids did a fantastic job. That's, that's just going to be for Grandma Shirley. This, this is from Emily. I don't know if the middle letter is a Y or a G, so it's Engert or Inyert. I don't know. It's from West Carlton, Ohio. I don't know where that's at in Ohio. Is that anywhere close to Lebanon or other side of the state or something? Let me see if she said. Such nice printing. And such a nice letter. And I thank you very much, Emily. This one is from Shelley O'Brien in uh, the state of New York. And besides this lovely, lovely card, she sent me chocolate and a flower that she picked. And the chocolate is long gone. <laughs> Sorry. And it was very good. So thank you very much. Everybody knows I love chocolate. But any I the pieces that said dark chocolate, I ate. And the pieces that was milk chocolate, I let someone else eat. <laughs> I'm supposed I can have dark chocolate, but I'm not supposed to have milk chocolate anymore. Uh, I found that out when I was going through a kind of a bad health situation two or three months back. Uh, this is from Miranda I can't read the last name. Some people write or print with their letters all stuck together instead of separated and it makes it so hard for me to understand individual letters. But she sent a pretty card too and a picture of where she lives it was a very nice card and thank you very much I appreciate that. I appreciate everybody's mail it's so fun to get I have a huge big packing box stuck back in the closet and it is almost full to the brim of mail. I'm going to have to start another one, I guess. Now, this one, the contents is this size, but it was put in this size so that it would all fit. This is from is it Jess or Jessie, London, in, uh, is M in Maine or Minnesota? I never can remember. I'm not going to read this one either, although it is typed and quite legible. But it is such a nice letter, and I feel 
that it is I feel that it is personal to me and I, I like it I appreciate it so much but I am going to show the card because I love that it says I meditate I do yoga I chant and I still want to smack someone <laughs> it's just what it looks like I'm surprised he's not saying quit watching me Thank you very much. I appreciate your letter and I love that card. I gotta get everything put back in there. And then there's this one. This is from James Petty at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. And this, this letter, it means so much to me. And I have had it laying over there by my red chair to answer for quite a while. And I'm so sorry I haven't got it done yet. But I do want to reply to your letter. Um, if you would drop me a comment, if you see this vlog, and let me know if that address you have on the envelope is still the same place that I could send you mail or if you have left from there to somewhere else or to home. Uh, I'd appreciate it because I really do want to answer this. So, later. This last one, I don't understand. Uh, I mean, there's just one element in it, I don't know. The post office put it in a bag like this because it has your note and a key in here. And I have no idea what this key is. They put it in the bag. It look, the, This is folded up like this. And it looks like the key had been inside the fold somewhere and had fallen out. And so they put the whole this and the key in a, this bag and put it in my mailbox when they put a key in my mailbox because I have a package in one of the big mailboxes they stick a key in there for me to go around there and unlock it with this isn't one of those kind of keys so I really don't know what this is um, maybe they found it laying there and thought it belonged to this I don't know it's not mentioned in here at all. But I thought this was really clever. Everybody knows I like old parchment looking paper, so look at this. And, and then, this is from... David. And it's... And he lives in... California but but he wrote it on this 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 is really cool folded it up like this and and actually sealed it with some wax so it's open in the ends and anything that was folded up inside here could fall out and evidently the postal service felt that this key fell out of it and so they stuck it all in this bag. So you let me know if this is anything that came from you and what it is. I have no idea. But thank you for this. This was very inventive and very cute. You knew you knew I'd love that. Okay, so that takes care of all the mail. If you let me know anything about that key I'd appreciate it the rest I made me a note here so I don't forget anything um, I'm I thought that doing that uh, Kinsley series would be kind of fun 
uh, making it as though it was the board of Jarl's calling out for somebody to come and help them clean up the bulletin boards of their cities. Because I've never really done quests or anything from the bulletin boards. And I thought that that might be interesting to do, but I am getting bored to death with it. And if I get bored, then I can't play the game very well, and I can't tell the story very well. <laughs> so it just it's just as well that I would quit it, because uh, it's going nowhere. So uh, in this last Kensley video, I let him give a hint that he's kind of bored with his job, and uh, now that he's been freed out of jail to come and do this job, uh, he might just slip away and take off and stay free and try not to get caught. So that will be the way I end the story. And, uh, and get rid of it because I'm really bored with it. I know a, a lot of you say that they like it, but e even when I watch one, watch, look back at it, <laughs> I, I bore myself. So, I will next week I will be starting a new series. And it's the name of the new series is going to be Leanna, A Shaman's Tale. This will be the first time that I will have done any character with mostly using magic spells. So I don't know how I'll do with it. I hope I'll do okay. It'll be a learning experience for me. Uh, <laughs> so you'll just have to go along with me on a learning experience journey, I guess. But the reason I'm doing this, well, for one reason, my son has been trying to get me to play a mage for a long time, and I've always been afraid to because I hadn't really played with just using spells. I'm always a sword person. I like to go in and hack and slash and kill things and, and I love using my bow. But in this I'm going to get to use a bow also. But I'm mainly going to be using magic spells. I'm going to have two helpers. Hopefully it's going to be Anigo and Lucian since I haven't played with Lucian yet. And uh, I want to tell you about why I finally decided to do this. The modders who are making me as a follower in a mod that you will be able to download for Skyrim SC, uh, they're getting close to it being ready to be released. And in the meantime, uh, they have sent me a little mod just for me to use for my character, Leanna the Shaman, to use as her home. Actually, it will be my character's home in the new mod, the follower's home. So that whenever you dismiss her, I guess she can go back home. I don't know how it's going to be in in included in the mod. I don't know how the mod's going to be, how it's going to work. I don't know that much about what they're doing. All I know is that I did all the voice for it. And, uh, but they sent me this little mod just for me of the house and within the house I will find the bow that they have made for my follower character to use. Um, it's very unique. I have never seen one like it at all. I love it and it just goes I'm playing, Leanna's going to be a wood elf because I want her to have animal command and using this particular air bow just goes with 
a wood elf. It, I can just see her out in the woods using it. I hope that you'll really like it. And uh, so, what I'm supposed to do is make my video and uh, sort of have her go through the house like she, she's just found the house for the first time and she will be going through the house uh, and you'll get to see all the elements of the house and see when she finds the bow upstairs and uh, so that's how the beginning of the series will be it might be in the first video or the second video I'm not sure how I'm going to do it but I want to start that next week because they want me to have time to show off the house and the bow to get everybody interested in the mod coming out soon they say it will be kinda soon and the next thing I wanted to tell you about is while I'm playing that series I hope to play it on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday so that I can get lots of it in in the next two or three or four weeks and get it finished. And what I'd like to do, if I can actually have the time to go back to doing a video every day, on Tuesday and Thursday, I would like to have a n another new, really short, video and it's about an old gray-headed man and his dog he's got a house on the north shore beach right against the mountains and his and he hunts and up in the mountains and makes his living selling his pelts and maybe his fish catches and whatever and he'll be doing a lot of talking to his dog and reminiscing about things and talking to him about what he's doing and so it might be a little fun it won't be comedic like Joe and Mr. Wabajack it will be more sentimental I think and, uh, but it will be a short one it'll be for Tuesday and Thursday, I hope, during the time I'm running uh, Leanna, A Shaman's Tale. And way later on in the year, I want to do a short video, like running with a major one, of a, an orc. I've never played an orc character before, but I have one built ready to go. So you will see him in the fall probably. And the next thing I want to tell you about is I am starting a new series. It will be a long one. It will be my main ongoing Skyrim series for some time and any other things I do will be in between the days that I record that. I hope I will be doing it on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But I'm going to start it on September the 18th, the anniversary of when I started recording for YouTube. Uh, not the anniversary of me starting gaming. I've been gaming since the 1990s. But the anniversary of when I started recording on YouTube. So I thought I would give you those things about new series to be looking forward to and thinking about. And uh, I will see you later. I don't have anything else going on today. I know I have to get busy. And uh, so I will talk to you later. I'm glad to get to talk to you again in the vlog. It's been a while and I'm sorry about that. Also, I know that I had been a, uh, a few months ago feeling not well. And a lot of people misinterpreted my vlog terribly. I mean, all the reviewers misinterpreted it greatly. 
I wasn't feeling well. Things were starting to stress me. I was already stressed because I wasn't feeling well. And so I decided the, the stress was making me feel like I didn't even want to play or record anymore. But of course, I couldn't stop doing that. Uh, so I just took maybe three weeks off just to be seeing my doctors and resting and uh, trying to get myself to feeling better, which I did. And I've taken breaks before, but when I came back, everybody started in and still do. Oh, I'm so glad you didn't quit YouTube. Oh, I'm so glad to see that you're back. I've been back for months. And uh, I'm so sorry about all the haters that you've been getting. I never, ever mentioned the word hate in that blog at all. That's coming from the viewers, or reviewers, so-called reviewers, that don't know what they're talking about. They just like to get clickbait by using me. So, but everybody's listening to what they say instead of what I said in my vlog. So, you might go back and look at blog number 12. But, I really wish that people would quit talking about it and bringing that up. It's over and done with in the past. And every time I see it in my comments, I delete it. So, you're wasting your time and effort. So, that said, please drop it. <laughs> I'm here. I haven't left. I'm feeling much better. My health is better. So give me a break. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you will enjoy the new coming up series. I hope I can do a decent job with them. <laughs> so later, guys. Bye-bye.